there guys, Aaron Chana here for Forever Football, DRFC, your Donks Rovers fan channel. It's preview day. <sighs> Can't believe I'm saying this so early. It feels early. But this is the last away game preview of the season. <laughs> I can't believe it because, of course, the last game is our home game. Um, wow. How many games have we been through this season? Uh, so we're going to go through this game. It's a rescheduled one from a few months ago. It's the one away at Blackpool. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of things this evening. Uh, you can go ch check out the, f sorry, the first 11 YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description down below. Uh, this video, go and check that out, because uh, at half six we'll be doing the EFL show uh, with Niall, who's a Plymouth fan, and Charlie, who's a Bristol Rovers fan, sorry Bristol Rovers, <laughs> um, but yeah, go and check out the First Eleven YouTube channel at half six, I will be on the uh, EFL show, uh, also check out Lee Charles TV, who's a Blackpool fan, because uh, I'll be on there this evening to help preview the game uh, and speak to Lee with the upcoming fixture uh, arriving tomorrow evening. Also, guys, don't forget on Sunday you can what it. Stay tuned for me on Sunday morning because I'm going to be there at the Keepmoat Stadium, walking down to the Keepmoat Stadium, um, being there for Coppinger's last game. Uh, and if you guys want to do fan cams, if you're a Donny fan, then please, please, please come down. And uh, if you do see me, you want to do a fan cam before and after the match, then don't do do not hesitate. I might bring my camcorder down, but it might be too dangerous. So I might just do phone. <laughs> I might just use my phone. Um, but yeah, a couple of things to do tonight involving the EFL and the previews etc uh, loads of things going on throughout the week so stay tuned for all of that uh, but here we go preview day Blackpool uh, now Blackpool of course their last six games form wise you know they got a nil nil draw a couple of one nils either way and you know win or loss and then obviously the, the latest result which was a three nil uh, against Northampton which relegated them back to League 2 after a year back in League 1 uh, so Blackpool have, um, have been on a bit of an inconsistent run of form, I guess you could fairly say, brutally honest. It's been a bit inconsistent, but if you look back over the last few months, they've really surged up the table, and I congratulate Neil Critchley for what he's done uh, with that team. Um, it's guaranteed they're going to get playoffs. They need at least a point uh, from this game to get playoffs. If not, it all goes down to the last day, uh, depending if, obviously, you know, uh, Chelt I think Chelton need to lose against Lincoln t uh, tomorrow night as well uh, to, for Blackpool to get playoffs or confirm playoffs. I'm not too sure if that's true or not. Comment down below if I'm right with that. Um, but that could be the scenario as well. So uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a ride or die, really, for Blackpool. But I think they're going to get playoffs anyway. There's no doubt they're going to get playoffs. It's just about where they finish uh, inside that sort of third to sixth kind of position. Um, so it should be interesting. should be really, really interesting. Um, now, I've got my predicted team, as you can see behind me. Uh, so there's a few players in. Obviously, it's, it's pretty much the team that... Um, won against Rochdale, pretty much. Um, so, obviously, in goal, Lewis Jones. Got no, like, qualms about that. Uh, right at right back. Uh, Butler and Anderson in the centre. Captain Tom Anderson, of course. Uh, Brandon Horton uh, at left back. Uh, James and Smith in the midfield. Laquilo on the right wing. Uh, I've got uh, Richards on the left wing. Yes, it's a weird position, but it worked. It was brilliant again in the, in the Rochdale match. And then Okunabiri and John Jules up front. Uh, on the bench, Bottomley, Bogle, Bostock, John, Sims, Greaves and Coppinger. Uh, now the reason why I didn't start Coppinger is because I think he's going to start against Peterborough United. Now whether he sees 90 minutes or not is, a, is, is another story. Um, but I, I hope he sees out at least 90 minutes against Peterborough. Maybe get some game time off the bench against Blackpool tomorrow night. Um, but finally, predicted scoreline. Now... Obviously, Blackpool form being consistent, but their team has gone on a massive, massive surge. And, the, you know, they've got some wonderful attacking players. Jerry Yates, in my opinion, championship, here they come. You know, um, even if Blackpool don't go up, Jerry Yates will go to the championship. I've got no qualms about that. Um, Ellis Sims, loan loan from Everton. There was rumours that we were looking at him in January under Darren Moore. And uh, obviously, we lost out to Blackpool on that transfer, so unfortunate for that one. Um, Kieran Dougal, a good midfielder. Uh, Chris Maxwell, who's the, who's the goalkeeper and the captain, is a leader and he's a leader at the back in between the sticks. Um, s some wonderful players for Blackpool. Some really wonderful players. Sully Kai Kai, that's another wonderful player. 
Um, but yeah, they've got a lot, a lot of talent. I think with the win though against Rochdale for us, I think we could be, you know, we, we could really show what we could do in these last two games just to see the season out on a high. So my prediction for the game will be a 2-1 win. I don't think it'll be a clean sheet. I think it'll be Jerry Yates scoring their goal. And in terms of a list of five players that I think could be on the, the score sheet of the two goals that we could score, I'm going to consist of a list of five out of Reese James, Okunabiri, Tyrese John Jules, um, final one on the pitch, Jason the Kilo. And the bonus, the substitute that I think could score, would be James Coppinger. So there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this preview, the last away preview of the season. We've got a flood of content coming over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've got season review uh, around the 15th of May, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, Coppinger's final season. It's a season we'll never forget. That's the, the title of that review. Uh, obviously, we've got the review of the Blackpool game coming tomorrow night, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the Peterborough preview on the Saturday. It's, it's, we're doing a preview on the Saturday for the last game of the season against Peterborough at the Keep Row. Obviously, Sunday morning, I'll be there a couple of hours before the team's scheduled to arrive. I will be there at the Keep Row waiting to, to see Coppinger off um, you know, at the end. I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of Rovers fans going to be there. Uh, so as long as we're sticking to the rules COVID-wise, we'll be fine. Um, so if you do see me down there, don't forget to say hi. If you want a picture, just say, j just say. I, you know, I don't bite. I'm fine with it. As long as it's sticking to the rules, then we're fine. Um, but yeah, it, obviously Peterborough preview on the Saturday. Uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be probably walking back from the keto after the game. I'll be watching the game outside the stadium on my mobile data on my phone, uh, and then uh, walking back to the, from the keep mo to uh, to do the review of the match. So uh, obviously, kick off for that game is twelve o'clock, which means it'll finish around about quarter to two, ten to two maybe, including the half time breaks. So uh, I think that's what we're looking at here. So the review will hopefully be out around between three and four, fingers crossed. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Uh, and for now, guys, my name is Aaron Channel from Forever Football, DRSC, Keep Living the Rovers Life. Stay tuned to the EFL show on, at half six on the First Eleven YouTube channel and the preview on the Charles TV YouTube channel. And for now, guys, that is full time. Rovers side die, and that is the last away preview of the season. Come on, Rovers, finish on a high. Rovers, yeah!